Well, 2021 has definitely been a slow year in motorcycling. Between the pandemic, supply chain issues, and ships getting wedged in canals, new motorcycles were scarce, demand was high, and waiting lists were long. We bought a Honda Sierra 300L Rally, had to wait 4 months for it, and quite frankly were lucky to get it that soon. And so the number of models introduced by the manufacturers seemed lower than usual. But nevertheless, we still had some cool bikes come to market in 2021. So in this video we will take a look at some of the new or heavily updated models released in 2021 and pick the 10 most important new additions to motorcycling. And by important I mean the models which have or are more likely in the future to make the biggest impact on the two-wheeled world, not just North America and Europe. So mount up, and if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It helps the channel greatly. Let's jump right in and start with the new for 2021 Yamaha MT-09. Unlike the MT-07 which got a few relatively minor updates, the MT-09 got a bump in displacement, power and torque, and updated electronics which sent it straight to the top of its class. Its performance is on par with the class leading KTM 890 Duke, but the Yamaha is way less expensive and has the advantage of Japanese reliability. I was fortunate to test this bike for a week and I have to say it's a ripper. The triple sounds awesome and has serious grunt, the chassis is stiff and the suspension keeps things buttoned down. This is perhaps the best bang for your buck in high performance motorcycling. Number 9 on our list is another favorite which has received an update for 2021 and that's the Honda Grom. Most of the tweaks were minor with an improved dash being the most significant in the looks department. However the big change in 2021 was the addition of a fifth gear which makes the bike even more user friendly. This is Honda's number one selling motorcycle and one of the world's best sellers. So many riders enter the world of motorcycling on the Grom that its significance cannot be understated. We need more bikes like this for city commuting and bringing noobs into the sport. The number 8 most important new motorcycle for 2021 is the Triumph Trident. This motorcycle upped the stakes in a class dominated by the Yamaha MT-07 with a number of features that no other competitor possessed. Riding modes and a sophisticated traction control system will put pressure on competing manufacturers. Most importantly, the new 660 triple engine has character, plenty of power and will be the starting point for many new models including the recently introduced Tiger Sport Tour. Triumph is also planning a new off-road capable Tiger which will hopefully be out by 2023. Smaller, more accessible bikes are always welcome. Number 7 on our list is none other than the new for 2021 Kawasaki KLR650. Yes, the old warhorse is back, slightly beefed up with a bit more middle age spread, but now with fuel injection. Still no 6th gear though. The KLR is in a league of its own in performance, far below other middleweight adventure bikes, but also priced, competitive with small ADV bikes. This is one of the least expensive ways to ride around the world in comfort while still retaining some decent off-road ability. Maybe the best value in motorcycling today. Kawasaki keeps things rolling at number 6 with another bike that doesn't have a lot of competition in its class, the KLX 300. I've spent a week on one of these and was seriously impressed with the price to performance ratio. This is not only a great value in dual sport bikes, it's a great value in bikes period. The larger engine benefits from increased power making this bike harder to stall and quite capable on pavement. And the higher spec suspension gives you best in class off-road performance. It's too bad that Kawasaki does not offer an ABS version because that makes this bike unavailable in some markets which hurts worldwide sales. At number 5 we have a pair of Hondas, the CRF 300L Dual Sport and 300L Rally small ADV bike. These bikes compete with the KLX 300 but are available with ABS making them accessible in more markets. We bought the Rally version as my wife Brooke's primary motorcycle and are very happy with it. Why Honda didn't upgrade the old 250 to a 300 sooner I'll never know, but the new bike has plenty of grunt. The suspension isn't up to the level of the KLX but can be upgraded and the CRF gives riders an excellent option for going on and off road. This class of affordable dual sports is so small that the introduction of two new modern bikes is a big deal. It's nice to have some dual sports that were designed less than 20 years ago. You listening Suzuki? Check out my playlist on our CRF 300L Rally if you want to know more. At number 4 we have the new Harley Davidson Sportster S. 
This model was officially introduced halfway through the year as a 2022, but hit showrooms in the calendar year 2021, so I'll throw it in here. Why is it significant? It is the beginning, the flagship model of the new Sportster family. It's a showcase for the new engine, new electronics, and new direction Harley is taking with the Sportster. This motorcycle and subsequent Sportster models will also determine the extent to which Harley-Davidson will be a significant player in the super important Euro market. Make no mistake, this bike was built to appeal to Euro riders, and it better do that if Harley wants a serious slice of that pie. I know I must seem Honda happy, but honestly Big Red has been one of the busier companies in 2021, and its most significant new offering, number 3 on our list, is the Trail 125. Based on the original Trail 90, which looked almost exactly like this new bike, the Trail 125 provides a very low cost and easy option for running around town and occasionally hitting the dirt. Why is it so significant? The Trail and original Cub on which it was based are the best selling motorcycles of all time and will be appealing to riders around the world. Forget the big GS, this is the highest selling adventure motorcycle ever, and Honda was right to bring it back in 2021. It flew out of showrooms last year and good luck tracking down a 2022. At number 2 we have Harley Davidson's most significant new offering for 2021, the Pan America 1250. There's no doubt that this motorcycle is incredibly significant to one of the world's largest and most profitable motorcycle manufacturers as it is Harley's first entry into the hugely important adventure market. It's also a seriously impressive display of engineering and proof that Harley can compete on tech and performance with the other big dogs. Who would have thunk it? Does it compete? I had a short ride on one and came away impressed, and it also just beat out the R1250GS and Multistrada V4 in a cycle world shootout. I know, I was shocked too. So significant? You better believe it. Harley's future trajectory rests on this motorcycle. If it succeeds, it pulls Harley into the realm of a legitimate motorcycle company which competes on tech and performance. If it fails, it relegates the motor company to a builder of cruisers only. Unfortunately, an ever-shrinking market. And finally, the number one most significant motorcycle of 2021, according to me anyways, is probably not what you were thinking. I'll give that title to the rather modest Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Why? because it's simply one of the best deals on a motorcycle you can get anywhere in the world. This is a full-size bike which costs 4400 US or 5500 Canadian. That's a 350cc motorcycle which costs 200 bucks more than a Honda Monkey 125. Sure, this bike only has 20 horsepower and 20 pound-feet of torque, but it's beautifully put together, can cruise the highway, carry a passenger, commute, look good at the cafe. Hell, you can tour on it. Not everyone can afford a Goldwing. And all for not much more than the price of a Minimoto. It's a motorcycle, not a scooter, will attract new riders and will sell all around the world. It's also coming from India, the world's largest motorcycle market and has made a big splash there. In fact, there is a retro version coming out this year. Why pick it number one? No other bike has the potential to bring more riders into motorcycling worldwide. Yes, there is definitely a place for the high-tech marvels of technology we all like dreaming about, but we need more of this type of motorcycle, especially in Western markets. The people buying the Meteor 350 now will be the future Goldwing, Panigale and R1250GS buyers, but not if they never start motorcycling. So there it is. I'm sure I'll hear plenty of disagreements and there will be a ton of contrary opinions out there. Please share them in the comments and let me know what bikes I left off the list. And stay tuned for a video of the most significant motorcycles coming up in 2022. Happy New Year everyone, and as always, ride safe. If you're interested in any of the gear that Brooke and I wear or use, or the camera equipment we use to film this channel, the links are below. Everything listed there was bought with our own money and we are not sponsored by any company. However, the links below are affiliate links and the channel is paid a small amount for referring you to shop at no additional cost to you. We do not recommend any products that we are not satisfied with ourselves, but we do strongly urge you to do your research and select the correct size for items like helmets and clothing. As always, thanks for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And whatever you ride, enjoy it. Wave at other bikers no matter what they're riding, we're all part of a brotherhood and sisterhood. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up and may the spokes be with you.